a young athlete takes a brutal hit on the playing field, you can usually tell how badly they're hurting. If not always. When a kid gets a head injury and either doesn't know or doesn't say just how badly he or she is hurt, there's a chance they might go back in the game too soon, perhaps with dire consequences. Tonight, Target 9 looks into a simple and free test available to local sports teams, a test very few local teams are actually using. As an athletic trainer for Steubenville Big Red, it's part of Ed Perlosky's job to know when a kid is too hurt to play. Diagnosing the severity of an on-field concussion can be tricky because victims don't always get knocked unconscious. We'll sometimes have a kid may play a great portion of the game and have a concussion, and after the game he will say he doesn't really know what went on throughout the game. And so sometimes you can't really tell. A concussion is, by definition, a brain injury, a blow to the head that can cause the brain to bang against the inside of the skull. One concussion can be dangerous. Suffering a second before you've recovered from the first can be deadly. So how soon is too soon to go back on the field after suffering a concussion? For years, coaches and trainers had to look for symptoms and rely on a player to be honest. But now, there is a high-tech method for them to screen a player's readiness to return to the field, and it's available to every school in the OVAC. It's called IMPACT, a computer-based test that measures a player's cognitive ability both before and after a concussion. The hallmark of concussion is not the loss of consciousness, it's the presence of memory loss. So memory loss can be measured in terms of immediate memory or recalling memory. So memory is big in this testing protocol, reaction time is big in the protocol. Since 2001, Wheeling Hospital has been taking baseline data on players in the preseason and then testing them again after suffering a concussion. In this test, for example, the subject is given a list of words and later asked to recall them. Missing too many can indicate a player's brain hasn't healed. It could be life-threatening. I mean, if you look at it in terms of cost, it's life-threatening to months of extended rehabilitation. But very few OVAC schools are taking advantage of this free service. Just four, according to the Impact website. Big Red's trainers have sent kids to Wheeling for impact testing. Good system, you think? Yeah, great. Good science, a good system. <laughs> definitely, All right. definitely. Now, the four OVAC schools listed as regular users of the impact test are Lindsley, Wheeling Park, Brook, and St. Clairsville. All of those relatively close, of course, to Wheeling Hospital, making testing a little more convenient for those programs. But rehab specialists at Wheeling Hospital say they can give an athlete that baseline test and a follow-up screening in just about 20 minutes. A small inconvenience, they say, for the chance to prevent a potentially life-changing injury. For more on the impact system and the symptoms and consequences of a concussion, you can log on to our website, WTOV9.com.